Hey there, I'm Chuck the Canuck. I'm ready to make another video. So today's video is going to be uh, local stuff for me. So I live in Niagara Region, St. Catharines, Ontario. Uh, so Niagara Region is all of St. Catharines, Niagara Falls, Port Coburn, well in Fort Erie, Niagara on Lake, and I think Grimsby and is counting there too. Uh, throughout the years the area kind of went through different changes and it was broken up differently but right now it's all called Niagara Region. So some of our records I have will say that people are from Welland County or Lincoln County or Grantham County, I think. Um, but that all means the same thing. It's all Niagara Region where I live now. Uh, I really like uh, having local stuff. To me, it's part of my history, my heritage. So I, I want to keep that going. That's why I want to collect it. Um, so there's a few you're going to see in here that are missing. Uh, I don't have any um, honeymoon suite from Niagara Falls. I don't have any Ron Sexsmith who's here from St. Catharines. Um, so some of the bigger names are, are kind of missing. I'm kind of showing my uh, lesser known stuff. Although I do have some Walter Osinek who's going to show up. Um, I've talked about him in my other videos before. But uh, I'm going to show some of his stuff now. Alright, so first off is something I actually think I talked about in one of my early, early videos. This is a uh, single. It's Wayne King, and it's called It's Roundup Time. And the thing about this, it's actually uh, produced and it's like a commercial for a place called JB's Corral, which was a bar in Niagara Falls. And there's actually a map on the back here, how to get to JB's Corral. And it's somewhere around uh, where the uh, Red Lobster is now, apparently, or there's Valley Village close by there as well. And uh, here's the, the single. It's called Little Bit of Push on one side, on the side B, and uh, it's Roundup Time on, on the A side. And the label on here is, uh, what's, what was the label? I think the label was JB's Corral, yeah. That's the label, so the guy who owned the bar, he, uh, he helped produce this for Wayne. I was actually able to talk to Wayne before uh, via Facebook, and he's part of a Facebook group that I have. So that's kind of cool. So another one I have is, this is Diamond Country, and this is Doug Richards and the Diamonds. This is a country album, I'm not quite sure when it was put out, I'm guessing early 60s, judging by their clothes and the hairstyle. And it was put manufactured by uh, Keel Records of Ajax and it's on highlight, the highlight label. I get that upside down, there's a highlight. Uh, I'm not familiar with Highlight Label. I don't know too much about them. Haven't seen too much. I'm, I'm guessing it was uh, kind of maybe a one-off or just a few-off um, label sort of thing. But uh, the people in this band is Doug Richards, uh, Jimmy Day, Ernie House, and Grant Carson, and they're all listed from from Niagara Peninsula and Welland County. That's where they're uh, they're saying that they're listed from. Doug Richards and the Diamonds. Next up is from my hometown, Port Coburn, Ontario, um, but they're actually apparently from Dane City, which is part of Welland, uh, according to other people I've talked to. But this is the Franco family. Um, this is like uh, teen pop stuff. If you take a look back and uh, read about Tony DeFranco, you will see that he was one of the more popular people in uh, some of the teen magazines. I think it was uh, Teen Beat or Tiger Beat, one of those. Um, take a look for Tony DeFranco, you'll see uh, him in there, and his, same with his, his siblings, but he was the really popular one. This album here is called Save the Last Dance for Me. We're all familiar with that song. This one's actually pretty good. I, I really like the, uh, the the sound on that song. Uh, it, it's really good. And it's on the 20th Century uh, label. Uh, I also have another one by them. It's called uh, Heartbeat, It's a Love Beat. Uh, and I don't have the cover for it. I just have the, the vinyl. Heartbeat, it's a love beat. So be sure to check those guys out. You check them out on YouTube. Uh, especially that Save the Last Dance for me is really good. Uh, one more song on here is called uh, I Wrote You a Letter. Um, I, I really like that one. It's got a great beat to it. It's a good song. Here's Tim Dennis. Uh, Tim Dennis is currently uh, on uh, a talk radio show uh, he does here in St. Catharines. And um, 
you know, I first learned about his album, talk, he talked about it on there. He said it was at a thrift store, someone told him that they found his album at a thrift store. I ran there, it wasn't there, but I was able to find it a little while later. Um, and then another great thing about this particular album here, the Tim Dennis album, is there's a lady on here called Elaine, or am I saying that? Uh, sorry, Eileen Twain. And that is Shania Twain. So Shania Twain's first time ever being on uh, recorded on an album is on this album here. And this is on the Custom Record People, or World Records, it's also known as, in the Canadian Talent Library. Next up, from Lincoln County, this is on the ARC label that I like to collect. It is uh, On the Road with Ron McLean and the Lincoln County Boys. There's a great photo of them, uh, I don't know, broken down or arguing about uh, their directions. This is another sort of country, uh, country album. Got a little bit of rock sort of mixed in, but it's mostly country. And it's pretty good. It's on the ARC. It's ARC AS774. Now here is Tony Habgen and the New Tones. These guys are still kicking around. <laughs> this is kind of like polka music. And I um, actually know the, uh, the children of some of these guys that are in this band here. Um, so it's Tony Habgen. He's the accordion and uh, the leader. You also have uh, Frank Habjan on drums, Walt Wasowicz, he's a vocalist, Barry Stickles, he plays sax, clarinet, clarinet, piano and vocals, you got Brian Pohl, he plays guitar and vocals, and then Erwin Green, he plays uh, bass and vocals. And I think a lot of these guys are from uh, the Port Coburn area where I uh, grew up, or maybe uh, Wayne Fleet, they're out in the country there, Wayne Fleet's part of Port Coburn. Next up, I have the Willoughby Ramblers. It's Sundown Jim and the Willoughby Ramblers. These guys are all from local area. Uh, Sundown Jim, his real name is uh, John, I believe. Um, can't remember his, last, his real last name. Anyways, it's not nothing to worry about. So we have Sundown Jim, he's the rhythm guitar and vocal. We have Ralph Atkinson. He, Leo... D Dodlin, John Zatariski, and Joe Godden make up this band. I do have another one from them, which I think may have actually showed up in one of my other videos before too. Because this one is signed. I got this album signed for me by a gentleman named uh, Howard Hoover. He gave me this as a, as a gift, and it's the Willoughby Ramblers. And it was signed by Sundown Jim himself. So thank you, Howard, for that. Another local DJ who's not around anymore, I don't know where he is, um, but he was on a radio station, which was country at one time, and is now uh, like a rock station. It is Tom Eldridge and Friends. This is Tom Eldridge, and the album's called And Friends. And some of the um, people that are on this is Bill Robbins, Joanne Brown, Tom, Aldr Tom Eldridge, Scott Harris, Brian Hallowell and Joel Thomas that are on this album. And here's another Tom Aldridge that I have. And it's not... Um, a few different people on here is uh, Al Briscoe, Steve Smith, Johnny Burke, who actually is a really uh, well-known guitarist. Or sorry, bass player. And you got Ray, Ray Mercy from the Mercy Brothers. Because uh, this album was filmed at, or sorry, recorded at the Mercy Brothers Studios in uh, Elmira, Ontario. Uh, we got uh, Mike Pepe Francis, another well-known player, Joe Howe. Uh, Larry Mercy plays on this as well, and same with Lloyd Mercy. And the Mercy Brothers can be heard singing on this one as well. Now I'm getting into my uh, Walter Austinac collection. So Walter's a well-known poke guy from uh, Niagara region here. He owned a place here in St. Catharines, a uh, music store, and uh, Walter's really well known, he's a really good guy, I was able to meet him a few times. So here is from ARC, and it's Polka, Polka Hits, so this contains Walter Ostenak with, uh, I think there's Frankie, uh, my mind's totally gone blank. <laughs> It'll 
It'll come to me later. Frankie Yankovic. That's him. I was thinking of Weird Al. They're not related. Everybody thinks they are because they both play accordion, but uh, Frankie Yankovic and, uh, is on here with uh, Walter. So here's another one on the ARC label. This is for a radio, or sorry, television station in uh, Hamilton, which is pretty close, and they do serve the Niagara region. And it's Channel 11, CHCH. So this is the uh, C Channel 11 Polka Party. So it's Walter Ostenak on there. And it is ARC 609. Another ARC came out during the Centennial period. And this is ARC 255, and it's Walter Ostenak and the Centennial Dance Party. Mark A563. This showed up last week in my other video. The Gay Continental Dance Party. And here is Canada's Polka King. Walter Ostenak, and it's on Axe Records. And last but not least, Walter Ostenak and a little bird dance. We're all familiar with the uh, bird dance or the chicken dance. Um, that one's played on there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And what I'd like to see from other people is show me some local stuff for you. So some of that lesser known artists like the ones I showed. That uh, you know, not most people, mo many people would know about them. But they have a little special place for you because they're uh, from your hometown, from a town you lived in. A town that you like to visit, maybe that uh, you know you're able to find an unknown artist from there. So please post your videos. I want to see them. Make sure you tag me in so I can see them too. And uh, just to close this off, since this is about the Niagara region, I'm going to play a cute little commercial that I found uh, from Maple Leaf Village, which was a place uh, in Niagara Falls, closed in I think 1993 or 94, somewhere around there. And uh, it was a amusement park with a, a mall attached. Which all it's all gone now, um, but it's someplace I'd like to visit when I was a kid. All right, see ya. Bye. Canada. <laughs>